In FeatureCam 2012, we've included some new options for toolpath features. We're going to look at these in this example. Here you can see we have an aero blade. Now we've already created a flow line toolpath strategy with a tool axis towards a line. Running this simulation of this toolpath, if I drop the speed down, You'll notice this is a full 5-axis toolpath making its way around the blade. If I speed this to the end though, you'll notice that the toolpath has actually overlapped some of the outer regions of the part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the toolpath feature to try and remove these segments. So one of the new options is I can right click on any operation inside the uh, operations list and I can say create a toolpath feature. Say yes. You'll notice the toolpath feature appears underneath. I can hide my surface feature, play the simulation and I get the same toolpath. Now I can make some edits to this toolpath. Right click, check the properties Go to the Toolpath tab, and the first thing you'll notice is if I click on Toolpaths, we get the lines that represent that toolpath shown on the screen. If I want, I can change this back to the point display that we've seen in previous versions of FeatureCam. So to make some edits, I'm going to simply delete some of the segments. So I'm going to view from the top of the part. And I'm also going to hide my solid. And identify the regions that I want to delete. In this case, I can select a portion of the toolpath, like so. And that highlights on the screen. I can then choose to delete those segments. As soon as I choose delete, you'll notice I get an option asking me what I want to do in terms of the retract. Do I want to move directly between two segments? Do I want to retract to a rapid plane? Or do I want to retract to a specified Z value? In this case I'm going to enter a specified Z value and enter 50 millimeters. Say OK and apply. That updates my toolpath and I get my toolpath segment like so. Any changes that I do make to this toolpath, I can also undo. If I look from the top, and again, let's say I select all of these regions, delete, and apply, all those segments are gone, but I can simply choose the undo, and that will undo any modifications that I've done to this toolpath. A quick refresh of the screen will bring back those segments that I've deleted. I can now choose to make a more sensible removal of the toolpath segments by selecting those regions. And selecting these ones here as well. So now I can choose to delete those. Apply. and say OK. I can now play my simulation. Again, dropping the speed down, you'll now notice that I've removed those unwanted segments from my toolpath. I can continue to machine around the shape. Like so.